Today, we're finally traveling back home from Australia and seeing our puppy again after six months away from her. It's a 24 hour trip and we're flying business for the very first time. Hi guys, I'm just gonna speak really quiet because I'm in a lounge right now. We're in the Emirates Business Lounge because we're actually flying business for the first time today. A 14 hour flight from Sydney to Dubai and then an extra seven hours from Dubai to Sweden. So yeah, I thought I would take it with me. Our flight leaves at 9.45 and is currently 6.52. Yeah, we're traveling for exactly 24 hours so it was definitely gonna be a long trip i'm so thankful that we're traveling business i'm so excited to see what it's like because i've never traveled business before i always do economy i've never even done premium economy so yeah it's definitely gonna be different Then it was finally time to board our flight. This was a two level flight, so we could actually board right onto our level. So all of level two was just for a business class and I guess first class. So yeah, it was just really convenient. We just walked straight to our seats and on our seat was this luxury blanket and pillow. And then like one minute after sitting down, we got served some drinks, which was so nice. I don't know, boarding and just being at an airport just makes you really thirsty. Okay, so we're now on the flight. It's like super quiet here, so I'm like whispering. But yeah, we're about to take off. We got some drinks. I picked our cheese. Seats are so nice. Like, oh, look how much room we have. And this is gonna turn into a bed later. I just got a little like makeup bag, totally for that. I think it was only for girls. Because my boyfriend didn't get one. Deodorant. We also just got a menu. Like, how fancy. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going from the Brothers of Capital. I wonder if they have an option. We also got some socks and eye shades and then noise cancelling headphones and look we have a little mini fridge like everyone has in their own so you don't even have to ask for additional water After takeoff, we got served some more drinks, so I got a virgin mojito, um, and it was actually really good, surprisingly, for being on a flight. And then we got served some dinner, and I got my vegan dinner. This was like super late at night, so I didn't even feel like having a main course, so this was all I ate. But yeah, then we just tried to stay awake for a little bit. So on level two, there's actually a bar where you can like hang out and order drinks and snacks and stuff. And it's really cozy actually. It's a good way to get out of your seat for a little bit. Then it was time to sleep. So they turned off all the lights. I actually ended up sleeping like eight hours or something. It felt like two hours maximum because I woke up like it felt like every hour but I guess somehow I slept through pretty much the whole night. So then it was time for breakfast and this was my vegan breakfast and then my boyfriend got french toast. 
and I tried to entertain myself by watching a Christmas movie so I watched The Elf but honestly I don't remember any of it because I felt like I wasn't concentrating at all and then I felt like it was time to freshen up a little bit because I'd been sleeping and I just felt like I didn't look my best uh, so I used all the products from the makeup bag and they were actually surprisingly good I could even comb through my hair and then I did some face moisturizer which felt really good because you get so like dry it's on airplanes and then I put on some deodorant and some lip balm and a little a bit of perfume i didn't want it to smell too much i mostly just wanted to try it and it actually smelled pretty good uh, there was also a toothbrush i'm not sure if you can hear me because like it's so loud but we only have less than two hours i think like one hour left on this flight so i'm so excited to finally be on the ground i'm currently watching the elf this is the only movie i watched for this whole trip and like i'm 30 minutes in and i'm watched three minutes of it because I just can't focus on movies. <laughs> So then we boarded the second flight and this was also Emirates business uh, but it was another model of the plane so it looked a little bit different and yeah, basically the whole plane ride I was playing Sudoku on this little like iPad with a Christmas movie in the background to keep me occupied but yeah by this point I was just so ready to be back home and on the ground even though this flight was only seven hours and the last one was 14 the seven hour flight actually felt longer I can't believe I'm sitting here right now with Molly. I missed her so much. You should have seen her today. She's been so attached to me, like from the moment we woke up. I was just chilling on the couch. She walked up and just lay down on my stomach. And then she was just sleeping there for like two hours. And then I was unpacking and she just came and lay down on my legs. I wonder if she was like worried that I was packing to leave again because I think she's starting to associate the suitcases with me leaving. All right, so we've been home for a couple of days now. Huh? I think Molly's happy that we're home. I'm just happy she recognized me at the airport because I was actually really nervous about that because when we left for Australia, she was I think eight months. She wasn't like a tiny little puppy, but she was still a puppy. So I only got to have her for six months before we left her because we got her when she was eight weeks. And then we went away for six months. I was like really worried that she wasn't gonna recognize me just to think i'm a stranger which i'm so happy that it didn't happen she obviously like recognized me we're back to normal except that she's become so cuddly like when i left her since she was still a puppy i think she just had like a lot more energy and she wasn't like a big fan of 
actually sitting still but now she just cuddles like on you all day and it's so sweet we're also currently moving into our apartment which is super exciting that we finally have our apartment here that we can like actually furnish and decorate because for six months in australia we couldn't like actually furnish or decorate since we were only there for six months so we just rented like a fully furnished apartment yes yeah, so i'm really really excited about that and stay tuned for some upcoming apartment videos but yeah thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time